Okay, so um, through these series of videos, I'm going to sort of try to get you to start from scratch um, and in the end um, build a whole song or even a couple of songs as well as maybe create some resources that you can um, use in future projects and share and so on. So we've had a bit of a look at the interface. Um, in this video, I want to get you um, to explore the browser and start previewing sounds and just learning the basic ways to choose and listen to and maybe even start to tweak some sounds. So um, this is the sort of view you'll get when you open Ableton uh, and you should have a basic idea of what you're looking at now. So let's start um, choosing sounds. There's a couple of different um, I suppose types of sounds that you could use to start making music or making sound of any sort. Um, let's start by looking at instruments. Um, so in Ableton there are a couple of types of instruments which are basically sound generating plugins. Um, there's synthesizers and there's samplers. So let's go through a couple of sounds and look at how you might start to um, choose them. So in the Instruments tab, I might zoom in a bit for you. You've got a bunch of different stuff here. So let's let's pick Operator just in, as an example. And if we click on these down arrows, and you can use your up and down um, arrow keys on your keyboard. And if I start to go through these, can get a preview of those sounds and I'm just going to turn my preview volume down a little bit which was over here just because I don't want them to be too loud while I'm talking a bit okay so this is one way to preview sounds um, now if you pick one that you think you like I might just stick with this one um, for now you click and drag that and put it on the track header there's a number of ways to do this um, so I might I can delete that by selecting the top layer and I'll explain these kind of layers as we go on you could double click it and it'll jump onto the selected MIDI track and if I choose a different MIDI track I can double click it and um, my instrument will end up on that track so um, you could also, if you want to drag this onto, let's let's pick a different one, a blank space, and it'll create a track for you. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can do that. I'm going to delete the ones that I'm not using at the moment just to make this a bit um, more simple to look at for the moment. And that's basically it. So this is the instrument that generates the sound. Um, but to trigger it, you need to use MIDI, which is a um, basically an instruction um, <coughs> that t uh, that gives performance information, like uh, I pressed this note this hard and held it for this long. So we'll look at MIDI in class and through other resources. But um, at the moment, we want to be able to play this, um, and there's a couple of ways to do that. So. What I might do is I'm going to double click in a cell which creates a clip um, of a certain length. At the moment it's just one bar long. So you can see that um, is what's being created here and I'm having a look at that. A reminder that if you click or double click the track header you'll see the instrument that generates the sound and if you click on the clip you'll see information related to, to the clip. So one way of listening to and previewing this instrument now that it's on a track is to turn on this little tiny headphones icon, which is the preview button, uh, and to start clicking on the piano roll. And so on. Okay, so that's that's one way to play sounds. Another way to do that is to activate your keyboard. Um, that's your computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard, essentially. 
So with this switched on, I can use my computer's keyboard um, to play sounds. And I'm just going to turn that down again a little bit. Um, and finally, um, is using a MIDI controller. Now, I don't have another camera hooked up here for this video, but you can take my word for it that I just have a controller plugged in, um, which is a push, and I can just play notes via that. There's one thing that you should note. So, I mean, once you plug a MIDI controller in, it should just work, um, and we'll have a look at that in class, but uh, generally it just works with Ableton. The only thing you need to remember is that the record enable button should be turned on. So if I record enable a different track uh, and this one's no longer record enabled even though it's selected, um, if I play my MIDI keyboard it's not working or my push it in this case so it has to be record enabled and, and then I can play notes that way. So let's just do a couple more examples of that. I'm going to pick a simpler. There we go. That's fine. I'll drop that into a blank space. Creates the track. This is a simpler instrument, which is um, a type of sampler as opposed to a synthesizer. Okay. Um, Tension is good for doing sort of string sounds. Let's there we go. That's a nice one with a sort of bouncing effect. Let's just change scales a little bit. Yep. And just to refresh your memory, we can double click here to create a clip and turn the preview. Okay, so that's a brief introduction on just how to load preset sounds, um, or instruments I should say, uh, and to play them um, with the piano roll, using the mouse just to preview them, or the computer keyboard or the MIDI keyboard or controller that you have plugged in. Okay, um, that's instruments. Let's look at clips and samples briefly um, to finish off this part of the video. So um, we've looked at instruments. Let's close all them up. And we'll look at effects and things later on, but what I want to do now is look at clips. So clips are um, saved um, bits of audio or MIDI. They're usually um, loop-based and they contain information um, related to them. So you might have warping information or um, automation, um, which again we'll talk about more later on. Um, and they're ready to go in Ableton. So they're sort of like um, MIDI or audio information that you've already prepared and then you can um, use that later. There's also a, sh um, a massive amount of clips that come with Ableton. So I'm going to pick something at random again. That'll do. And same deal here. You can preview these um, without loading them into the session just by clicking, and you can use the up and down arrows to uh, sorry, move between different um, clips, and the right arrow to stop playback, and the left arrow to continue playback. To load a clip, you can drag it onto any kind of track, and if it's a MIDI track, it will simply turn an audio into MIDI. And if it's an audio track, it will just load. So this one is a MIDI track, or a MIDI clip, I should say. And you can see that because there's there's the MIDI, um, the piano roll and the MIDI notes that are programmed in. Um, let's pick a different one. Or I can drop that into a blank space and it'll create um, either an audio or a MIDI track for you to use. So let's drag that over here. 
I can select these. I'm just going to keep things simple by deleting them. And we've just got a couple of clips here. So this is the instrument that we made before with a blank clip. There's no notes in it. This is a MIDI clip that we loaded from the clips um, menu in the browser. And this is an audio clip that we've loaded from here as well. And we can preview these by pressing their play button. Whoops, that's a bit loud. I'm just going to turn that down. And I can stop it with the space bar. You'll notice that the clip is still in focus because it's um, green play arrow is on, which means if I press space bar again, any of the clips whose lights are on are going to start playing like that. If I don't want that to happen, I can press the stop button down here and that will stop the clip. And if I press space bar, nothing will happen because none of these are in focus. Same with this one. So let's play these two clips together. Space bar to stop. If I press it again, the two clips here will start to play together. Or I can stop the lot of them by pressing this global stop button. So this will stop all clips. Right, that'll do for this video. Um, actually, one last thing. I've shown you clips and instruments. I just want to show you samples. So samples are just bits of audio. They're not clips, um, so they don't have the clip-related information which is, you know, looping information, um, transpose, automation, and so on. They're just bits of audio, okay? So this will be able to, I can drag this onto a, um, an audio track, and now that it's on there, it is a clip, and I could save that as a clip, and we can, as, as um, usual, we can look at that more later. So um, you've, you should be exploring uh, loading and previewing instruments, clips, and samples um, to start to get ideas of the sounds that you'll want to use in your um, productions. And just to finish off, I'll just show you that um, these are the sounds that come with live, um, as well as, uh, and these are sounds that, um, that I've got somewhere on my computer. So in my sound library, I can go into the ambience folder, for example, and I can choose um, and preview um, different sounds from here. So this is a piano sound, this is a whale sound. <laughs> some crazy whales, some pigeons, and same thing, these are audio samples and they'll They'll go nicely onto an audio track, and then I can manipulate them in a number of ways later on. Okay.